Hey y'all, and welcome back. Tonight we're back in the kitchen, and today's recipe is fried rice and pork. I'm going to show y'all in a quick video how you can make the fried rice and pork just like you get at a Chinese restaurant that's so much better at home. You get a lot more, and it don't cost you near as much. Right now, we're trying to cook from our pantry using what we have and what we have in the refrigerator. What kind of vegetables you was to have, you can throw in this fried rice. You can make it ever how you like it. Use what you got. Let's get started. Okay, for tonight's recipe, this is what you'll be needing. Some pork, minced garlic, rice, soy sauce. This is our Fiesta blend that we made today in our homemade a pan pantry essential video. We've got purple onions, sweet peppers, a little butter, some green onions, garlic powder, salt, and pepper. Now let's put it all together. We're gonna go ahead and add our four tablespoons of butter and let that start melting down. Okay, now that we've got our butter all melted, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add my onions, my peppers, some black pepper, and some salt. and our garlic powder. And we'll just let that start sauteing up. And now that I've got that sauteing, I'm gonna go ahead and add a tablespoon of minced garlic. a real quick and easy dinner and it don't take long at all and now we're going to add around a teaspoon of soy sauce and now to that I'm going to add my one cup of uncooked rice Two cups of water, and we're just going to give that a mix, and we're going to let that come to a good boil, and then we're going to cover it. Okay. Oh, it smells good, y'all. This is just like making homemade. Chinese food. This is like takeout, but you're making it at home using what you have in your pantry so it don't cost you as much. So now we're going to put the lid on that. Since it came to a boil, we're going to turn the heat down and we're just going to let that sit there and simmer for around 30 minutes. Okay, now to this skillet, we're going to add around two tablespoons of oil and just a little bit of butter. That's probably around a tablespoon of butter. And we're wanting to let that come to a good heat because when I put that meat in there, I want that iron skillet to be good and hot. Okay, now we're gonna season our pork. We're our Fiesta blend, some salt and pepper, and now I'm gonna add just a little bit of soy sauce to my pork. That's probably around a tablespoon and a half. 
And now we're just gonna give that a good mix and toss that meat and let it get coated with all our seasoning blends. And now that we've got our oil and this skillet good and hot, we're gonna go ahead and add our pork. I'll have to cook this in two batches because I have so much of it. But we're just gonna get this to turn a good, pretty golden brown, and then we'll bring y'all back. Ooh, it's smelling good, y'all. Okay, now we're gonna take it out so I can cook my second batch and just place it over here on this plate. Now we've got the rest of the pork in there cooking. Let's take a little look at the rice and see how it's coming. Oh, it's gonna be good. And now I'm gonna add the rest of my pork back to the skillet. I had to cook it in two different batches because I didn't have enough room. Just sort of mix it all together. And now we're going to cut the heat way down. And I'm going to add just a half a cup of water to my pork. Now that I got it done, I'm gonna put that little bit of water in there, put this lid on it, and I'm gonna let it sit there and simmer and tenderize that pork. Okay, y'all, we're gonna serve us up some of this and let y'all see how it looks. Right. And on the top of the rice, I'm gonna add just a few green chives. Right here we have our fried rice. Oh, that is gonna be good. Mixed with the vegetables and onions. Now for this dish right here, you could mix it together, but I'm not mixing ours together. I'm going to serve it separate. I'm just going to put my pork on the side of my rice. But we've let our meat sit there and tenderize so it's not tough. Okay. And now what you can do with your broth that you have off of your meat, you can drizzle over the top of your rice. But that right there is how you can make fried rice with pork using soy sauce using what you have in your pantry, like the peppers and onions. I just put those in there. If I had had some English peas and baby carrots, I might've put those in there. But we just used what we had and made us a dinner tonight that's gonna be good, y'all. I hope y'all give this a try. And if you do, let us know in the comments. Okay, y'all, I hope y'all like this quick little video on how to make fried rice and pork. 
add whatever little vegetables you have to make the rice your own. And the pork turned out just tender using that iron skillet with that half a cup of water method. Just let it simmer once you get it done and you will have some tender pork chops or even tender pork pieces like we had tonight with this fried rice. I hope y'all like our video and if you try it, comment down below and let us know. Thanks for watching. And like always, don't forget to give us that thumbs up. It helps our channel grow.